niggas lying through their teeth, but I keep it 100 every time that I speak. These niggas lying through their teeth, but I keep it 100 every time that I speak. Let's go. Boy, I'm in the zone right now. Boy, I'm in the zone right now. Same niggas that switched up for me, them the same niggas blowing up my phone right now. But I ain't got time right now. Cause a nigga on the grind right now. With OGs blowing la la la. Why you probably still living at your mama's house? Look. Get your money up before you talk slick Cause I've been getting to this green on some off shit Flow so sick I could probably call it What's going on gamers? Welcome back to the channel And welcome to another Madden 20 tip video Yesterday y'all gave me about 30 likes in the first day I appreciate all the love and support Let's keep it going Drop a like on the video right now And I'm gonna give you another great run defense that's gonna be a little more easier for anybody to run so yesterday we broke down the nickel normal today we're gonna break down the three four bear and then somebody in the comment section asked me about the big nickel so i'm gonna set up some run defense for that in the next video so make sure you are subscribed and your notifications are turned on so first thing you want to do make your substitutions i want bobby wagner on the right side so we're gonna put shakeem griffin right there we're gonna go right here put bobby wagner and then you can do whatever you want to do with these safeties i'm gonna switch them around just have digs over there so we're gonna do this cover three it's a couple plays you can do bucks ss3 cover two invert couple things you can do so we're gonna pick that and then we're just gonna do a stretch that's what you're gonna see a lot so the first thing you want to do with how this defense is set up. Both of these linebackers, Y and A, you want to blitz them. So if you press like that ahead of time, they won't go down in the box. Then you push Y and down, A and down, and then crash your line down. Now once you QB contain, it'll be looking like that. Now this guy, I like to have about even. I like to have him about even. And then the yellow zone, you can do anything. So I'm gonna reset the play and then I'm gonna walk y'all through what I like to do. So first thing I like to do is push Y or triangle and then down on the left stick, that's press. That's gonna get them over there. Now I like to push right D pad one time, two times. That's gonna highlight the linebackers. So Y down, do it again, A down, and then left D pad to the left. And that's gonna put uh, your lineman. So that's how you quick adjust. So right there, they quick snap me. So we're going to press. Then we're going to do, boom, put both of them in the blitz. D-line, we're going to slant inside, right stick down. And then this guy, I'm going to walk back a couple steps. So now the defense is mostly set up for the run. So now you can take YY or triangle, triangle, take A, and you can blitz him. Or you can put him in the spot to help with the run. So I will come around in this gap about right here because you want to look at the personnel. So we got three people over here. And over here, we got four plus my user. Now, head on head with the center, you got one, two, three, four over there. And you got three on this side plus the fullback and then my user. So we got even people on both sides of the field. Okay, especially with only one wide receiver out. So the key to having decent run defense first is always let your opponent pick his play first. These purple zones, you want to keep them in, even if you shade down. You can leave them blues on there, but don't blitz them outside people, okay? So, the play is all set up. We're going to run this real quick. Bobby Wagner gets in there, eats up in the backfield. Real easy. So, like I said, we're going to press first, blitz both of these linebackers. Now, move him back one or two steps, just exactly like I did. Crash down, QB contain, take that guy and blitz him or... You can put him in the zone. You can put him in the spy. It's just more run help. Okay, so now we're going to shade down again. And we're going to play about at this line even with them. Because then you can run both ways just as successful. You know, and you don't want to shoot the gap and get picked up. The run game is OP. You just want to do the trailing technique. That's what I call it. Bobby gets in there. Bobby gets the tackle. Negative yards. So we ran this two times and it's behind the line of scrimmage. So having a secure tackler is important. So we start on the 30. Bobby takes that route through there and it's a gap. That's what you got to know about runs. Inside zones, you can blow them up yourself with your user because it's always going to be a gap in them plays. Now, halfback dives, it won't be a gap. And uh, halfback tosses, I'm going to give y'all defense for that too. So that little gap 
is all you need. Bobby Wagner gets in there and cleans it up. So he gets him down. We start on a 30. He falls down about a yard short. So that's about one yard loss. So here we go again. We're going to crash down. We're going to press, put them both in the contain, and it's all set up way faster than yesterday's video. Now we're going to put him in a spy, and then we can shade down to put them hard flats on the field. And then once you shade down, your entire team is going to shade down. So you can go back and push YY, triangle, triangle, go to B and put him back in the outside third, or you can put him back into an outside quarter. It's all up to you. But once you shade down, anybody in the zone is going to play aggressive. Okay? So that's something that you got to remember. Now, if they try to hit a corner out with this tight end, you would want that cornerback over there, instead of manning him up, you would want him in the outside quarter. That's going to play corner routes and routes like that real better so here we go we're gonna stay down in the box bobby got that gap big hit you got a chance for a fumble i'm only showing you this because i know that by now y'all done already like the video bring them a couple steps like that we can shade down re zone your cornerback or whatever you want to do so he don't play underneath and we can sit right here and lurk Bobby get in there. Bobby get in there. Okay, he got picked up that time. So this time we're going to run it three times. So it's first down, beginning of the game. He comes out in the run formation. Okay, but first you got to like the video. So drop a like on the video and then we're going to set it up like a real game. Okay, so we're going to come out. We can see he's in a run offense. We're going to press. We're going to blitz both of these linebackers. It's going to look like that. That's how it's going to originally look. Now we're going to crash our D line down. Okay. And we're going to leave the purples this time. And then we're going to blitz him just for this. So this is first down. We're going to be real aggressive. We want to stop the run. We don't want him to feel like he can run. Remember, get him back about to that line even. And now we're going to stay right here and hover. Boom. Big hit fumble. Turnover on down on first down. So now you got the ball. Now you can control the clock. Work down the field. Do whatever you're going to do. So that was about negative three yards and a fumble. And that's what you're going to get if you have your best tackler right there. So we start on the 30th, and boom, he shoots that gap, knocks him down, makes him fumble. Our guy comes over, picks the ball up, turnover on downs. So instead of him having to pass the ball, he ran the ball, and you still ended up getting the ball back. So let's start off first down. Now you up 7-0. We're going to push Y on the stick, left stick down, we're going to press. We're going to push D-pad twice, go to Y, blitz down, D-pad twice, go to A, blitz down, QB contain, and then move them back to this uh, line, close to the line. Now we're going to put A, Y or triangle, double tap, put them in this spot. All you got to do is go to A, right stick to the left is going to put them in that spot. Now, what you want to do with these purple zones, put them in clouds, do whatever you want to do, it's all up to you. So we're going to stay right here. Hopefully we get that gap shot. Boom. So, okay, so he got clogged up that time, but it was still negative two yards. So that time he got picked up on that block, which is going to happen sometimes. Okay, it's not perfect. It's just a good run D. So that time he didn't get through the gap. He got clogged up. But like I said, we had that safety in the spy and he got straight through there. Now me, I'm using the trailing technique. So you can see the guy is supposed to run out there and get that safety, but his mind is focused on me. Look at him. He's looking at me because I'm doing the trailing technique. As soon as the ball hike and they start going to the left, I'm trailing. I'm going to, they going to the right, I'm trailing. All right, so we're going to run this three more times. We're going to run this three more times. Auto flip is on. You're going to push D-pad to the right twice. A, down on the right stick, blitz him. D-pad, Y, blitz him. That's going to give you... The same type of look on both sides. This guy I like to stack, put him in the gap right there, and then crash down. That's as easy as this defense is. So here we go. Straight through the gap, big hit, fumble. So we're going to do it two more times. So we're going to crash down. We can grab him and spy, or you can do the press technique. Boom. You can put both of these people, bring them back a couple steps, about like that, crash down. And you can highlight that running back still if you want to. Get him in there. Big hit. So one more time. So you can see it is consistent if you do it correctly. So the faster you set it up, the more consistent it is. Crash down. Now we're going to spotlight him this time. And as long as you have that big hitter in that right position, 
you have way better success. He's able, okay, that time he got caught up, but I came for the tackle. Still negative yardage. If y'all enjoyed it, drop a like on the video, and I'm out, man.